special edition of covering the angles. <laughs> it's 20 past two in the afternoon, 22nd of September, and we're on our way to Notts County. Are you excited? I can't wait. <laughs> Leaving the checkertrade.com stadium now. About a three and a half hour drive ahead of us. Get in the car, we've got BT. Bruce Talbot, media manager of Crawley Town FC. How are you feeling? Not very good, child. I feel very well, actually. <laughs> I'll be honest with you, the trip to Nottingham was probably the last thing I need, but hey ho, needs must, stay stand. Excited for the game? Gotta be there. Um, as you know. Nah, well, I'm excited for the game. Oh yeah, absolutely, yeah. Um, yeah. No, we'll get three points tonight, mate. Score predictions, gents? Yeah, we'll win 2-1. Two, two, yeah. So Stan thinks the same as well. 2-1. Great minds think, think alike. alike. <laughs> so now we're heading off to get Barney. Off to get Barney. And this is Joe Reed, media intern, taking you through the day's actions with the media team. Right, we've stopped off because we're picking up Red's player commentator, Barney. There he is. <laughs> Hi, Barney. Good afternoon. How Hello. are you? Good, thank you. Well, I've got a cold, so yeah, I shan't be able to talk as much as normal. So. Oh, that's a shame. I shall, I shall, I shall just interject if you know, there's things that need to be corrected. <laughs> Media team under the weather today by the sounds of it then. Yeah. Uh. Barney, any word for the Crawley uh, Crawley Town YouTube? Ahead of tonight's Notts County <laughs> fixture. <laughs> yeah, come on. They've not had a good start. We can uh, we can get something tonight. We can get something tonight. Score prediction? Uh, one all. One all. As it was on our first visit there. As it was on our first visit there in November 2012. When I forgot my glasses. <laughs> and here he is, the man himself. Good afternoon. <coughs> All right, Bob. Hello, Bruce. Hello, James. <laughs> and now we. Hello, own, Johnny. Own continue James. our trip to North County. on the car journey so far, gents. <laughs> uh, also, I mean, I'm afraid that we can put out uh, across the YouTube channel, but Barney's um, regurgitated Lancashire Hot Pot has made a reappearance this afternoon. Uh, 40 minutes to go until Nottingham, <coughs> and we'll be back then. at Notts County for tonight's Notts County versus Crawley Town fixture. As you can see Stan and BT walking ahead at the moment. We've got John Barnett currently behind trying to catch up. As we head towards the, uh, the media entrance to get set up for the game. Here we go. All right, we're all set up. Currently walking along with our media passes into the stadium now. <laughs> there we go. We're nearly. We are here at Meadow Lane reception. Yeah. And here we are. The Notts County Media Lounge. Hmm. Smells nice. Sky Sports one on for us as well. we'll. Cut it off there, and then we'll turn it back on when uh, when we get back out there. Say, so, see you later, gents. John Barnett and I have left the uh, Notts County press box, and now we're now on our way to uh, sorry the media lounge. Now we're on our way to the press box. Apologies, Barney. And here we are. 
that's all set up. Just awaiting the players. And uh, warm up until kickoff, as you can see down there in the corner. I don't know if you can. Rob Edwards of uh, Crawley Town, he's uh, setting up the warm ups for the players ahead of kickoff. And Andy Little is over in the corner there, readying for the uh, goalkeepers to come out and warm up as well. Right then, back to Meadow Lane. On the pitch, we've got players. That's County on the left, and then our boys Crawley Town down on the right, warming up. Starting line out, starting line ups are out as well. So we'll have a look at those in a minute. Right, we're back in the press box here at Meadow Lane in Notts County versus uh, Crawley Town. We're all set up. BT's set up next to me, and Barney's getting ready on Red's player. And the teams are in for today, as you can see. Freddie Woodburn, Bobson Balling, Kristen Scales, John Ashton, Sonny Bradley, Lewis Young, Ross Jenkins, Luke Rooney, Jimmy Smith, Connor Henderson, and Reese Murphy. With Callum Preston, Simon Walton, Lee Barnard, and Liam Donnelly on the bench. So, um, as we get closer to kick off, I'm going to say 2-1 uh, to Crawley. You had a BT, you had a 2-1 uh, prediction earlier, didn't you? Has that changed since no, earlier? No. I would disturb Barney, but it looks as though he's getting very uh, into his uh, preparations. He uh, he loves his bubble. He needs his Buxton's water as well, doesn't he? Yeah, yeah. Go and get that. Yeah. Barney can't do 90 minutes. I will. I will. The Knox County players have left the field, and Crawley Town players are uh, doing the same to get ready for tonight's kickoff. All time here at Meadow Lane. Um, the Reds have uh, unfortunately gone down to a 4 1 defeat. Uh, and we've got Ross Jenkins currently being interviewed by Reds player HD. And we've also got uh, Reese Murphy being interviewed by Barney. Um, Reese Murphy, of course, scored his, uh, his debut goal today for uh, Crawley Town. So uh, a positive there, but unfortunately, uh, a Double from uh, Noble and double from Edwards mean that uh, Notts County come away with the uh, three points at home down at Meadow Lane. Um, we've done the uh, post-match interview with Mark Yates uh, and by the time this goes up that will already be up so uh, make sure you watch that and the interviews with Rhys Murphy and Ross Jenkins. And uh, on to Saturday's game against Accrington Stanley and we'll have a bit of post-match reaction from uh, Bruce Talbot and uh, Barney on the journey back. Barney, it was 4-1. What uh, what did you make of the uh, of the loss? Well, I just can't believe it. Finished 4-1, to be honest. Um, there's one thing I've never... One thing I've always wailed me is whether it be reporting, supporting, whatever. When they, you've got the home fans on the, their backs, but an hour later they're going home with the three points. Yeah. You think, why can't we get back to what was going on then? And, you know, before we scored, we had a couple of really good chances and... and uh, so you almost felt the goal was coming or we looked more likely to score it was just that crucial uh, well 60 seconds wasn't it around the half hour mark when to concede one was disappointing especially from a set piece or from a phone that was allowed to bounce in the box I think that was what was crucial um, and then just concede another one to say afterwards you know, given that you know, we'd have had the kick off 40 seconds before that went in you think how's yeah. that come about so yeah really disappointing then obviously the penalty in the second half was, was crucial it looked a bit soft to be honest so uh, 
and then it's a mountain to climb from there. And I suppose, given the uh, you know the opportunities we had in the first half, it was very much a case of Notts County took advantage of their chances at the night as well. That's supposed to be the difference. When we said during the commentary about the number of saves that the goalkeepers have made, and obviously Freddie made some really good saves, or well, Cowan made some great ones as well. But then you could also say well, actually Notts County scored there, so they probably created more chances. Whilst it feels like the keeper made the keepers made the right amount of saves or the same yeah. amount of saves. Notts County also had their you know, three extra goals to bolt on. I mean, it's basics, really, but yeah, um, yeah you just feel that, um, uh, as you say, they were just more clinical and, you know, pounced on some sloppy defending. Whereas, yeah, a couple of times, everyone yeah, made some good saves. We'll get a bit more post match from, uh, from you guys in the car on the way back. Okay. A bit of post match from the media car on the way back. Doing a bit of work to get uh, to get you guys some, uh, for some post match footage. And Bruce is working well with videos. Bruce, what did you make of the game? Uh, well, I thought we created quite a few chances, which was encouraging. But we gave away some very soft goals. I've just seen the highlights. I've just seen the goals now, and uh, I think when the boys see them, they'll they'll be very disappointed. But you know, that's life. Onwards and upwards, Joe. Back on it again on Saturday at uh, home to Accrington. Come on, you Reds! Barney, any uh, any post-match words? A bit more to follow up on what we spoke about earlier. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't know really. Yeah, uh, just well, obviously I'm driving, but yeah, caught a glimpse of the girls. Um, they uh, yeah, they were just poor, really. Today I just need a bit more, a bit more of that, a bit more urgency. I think Mark probably covered it in his. Mark probably covered it in his uh, post-match interviews. I think just need to a bit more, a bit more extra. I think needed to prevent those sorts of goals. Uh, let me say, positives at the other end, quite more chances than we have done in probably recent games put together. But it's, uh, yeah, but just it, it'd be fair to judge us think when we've got the players back and uh, played, you know, maybe 15 games. And that's eight games is too early. And Stan, the uh, the moment of the night for you, of course. How is your uh, how is your KFC, mate? Uh, it was dis- a bit disappointing, really. <laughs> like, like, the, like the past down there, like the match, yeah. Poor so, not very happy, really. Not very That's happy. Like... Not very happy in the uh, in the media cars we travel back. Thank you for watching the video. Um, I'm gonna have more content throughout the season.